Hare Krishna. So today we are going to discuss the meeting of Nanda Maharaj with Vasudeva. Vasudeva is the father of Lord Krishna and Nanda Maharaj is the foster father of Lord Krishna. So Krishna, as we all know that he was transferred from Mathura to Gokula. So when Krishna took birth, it was a secret. No one knows that how Krishna was transferred from Mathura to Gokula. Only uh, uh, very one to very few people know this. Mm. So when Krishna, uh, when everyone thought Krishna is the son of Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda Mata, who were staying in Gokula. So when Krishna took birth, at that time, Nanda Maharaj he did a uh, new birth ceremony mm. just like in our homes when a child takes birth like for next uh, after 21 days there is you know uh, this uh, cradle ceremony and uh, this these rituals are there in our uh, day-to-day -day life so in that way Nanda Maharaj also did a ceremony which is uh, a new birth ceremony of Lord Krishna bathing ceremony it's actually so Vedic bath bathing ceremony when Krishna takes birth uh, to bathe the baby. So at the time he invited all the Brahmanas, Nanda Maharaj invited all the Brahmanas, all the villagers of the Gokul, the Brajavasis, and it was a very, very uh, amazing, wonderful, very colorful event which was happening there. And when they all came, Nanda Maharaj, uh, he actually uh, gifted almost uh, two lakhs of cows in charity to Brahmanas. So it is always a custom to give some charity to Brahmanas, especially when you do some event. And uh, it was not just cows, uh, simple cows, but cows decorated with gold. You know, the horns were decorated with gold and they were covered with nice uh, colorful clothes. And uh, not only that, Nanda Maharaj gave in charity uh, heaps of grains covered with gems, jewels, clothes and because that was the culture, the Vedic culture was so glorious, it was so prosperous. Uh, people were abundantly having cows and when you have cows you will have a lot of milk and you can make so many sweets and uh, uh, bulls you can do agriculture and you will get a lot of uh, grains, fruits, vegetables and it, it was all a prosperous life. So then, at that time, uh, the, uh, the whole, uh, the, the bridge, Gokul was decorated. Uh, all the roads, all the houses were decorated with flags, festoons, you know, colorful um, liquids were spread, colorful fragrances were spread, uh, spread all over and it was like a full uh, festival mood. Uh, the birth of Lord Krishna, the Supreme Lord birth, was celebrated in a very gorgeous way. At that time, once the festival was over, so it is a, uh, it's a custom that the villagers, they have to pay tax to the king. So Nanda Maharaj, who was the leader of that community there, he took all the uh, merchant people, the village, village uh, um, agriculturist people, Vaishyas, most, most of them, he took them to Mathura to meet uh, Kamsa and to give the tax, to pay the tax. So tax in those days, it was like, you know, giving grains, giving milk, giving butter, ghee. This was the tax you know, in those times. So then uh, they all went to Mathura and uh, paid the tax. So as soon as uh, Nanda Maharaj reached Mathura and the news came to Vasudeva that Nanda Maharaj had, you know, come to Mathura. So Vasudeva, personally, he came to meet uh, Nanda Maharaj at his, uh, at his quarters. And uh, as soon as he saw Nanda Maharaj, Vasudeva felt that as if his life had come back, as if he regained his life after seeing Nanda Maharaj. You know? Because uh, he knows that his son is growing in the, how, in the home of Nanda Maharaj. And actually speaking, there was some fan, uh, family uh, uh, connection between both of them, uh, where both of them are actually uh, brothers in some family, um, you know, 
relationship in far relationship both of them actually become brothers uh, so there was a brother uh, brotherly connection also mm. so then uh, they both were uh, feeling very happy to meet each other everyone was glorifying each other's um, fortunate position you know and uh, especially vasudeva was uh, very very happy uh, that krishna is uh, krishna and balram both of them are growing so nicely in the house of uh, nanda maharaj so uh, nanda maharaj uh, finally he says to uh, nanda, uh, the ya vasudeva he says to nanda maharaj that uh, so now uh, the kamsa is planning uh, you know i am feeling some bad omens this kamsa can attack any time and kill uh, try to try to attack try to kill krishna and uh, he has so many demons so i am facing i am feeling some bad omens you please go back as early as possible and take care of uh, lord krishna the baby krishna so as soon as he tells then nanda maharaj he uh, takes a leave from vasudeva and he goes back to gokula and we know the next you know the next chapter is uh, that how krishna killed putana as soon as nanda maharaj reaches gokula he finds that you know putana had already came there she tried to attack krishna but krishna very mercifully you know he took the life of putana and gave her a position in the spiritual world as mother so that comes in the next chapter lord krishna killing putana hare krishna thank you